Hey guys, it's Jonathan from Bullet Motorsports. Right next to me, we have a 1996 Stewart Stevenson M1086, so it's a six-wheeled truck. Extremely clean example, recently serviced. It was actually used in the movie SEAL Team 6, which is pretty neat. Uh, it has a clean and clear title. Air brakes work great. If you want to see more content like this, please be sure to like and subscribe below so we can give you some amazing videos. What we're going to do today is we're going to jump in it, take it for a test drive, go through all the gears, and we might go swimming. You never know. We're going to do a walk around real quick. You see it's got a giant windscreen in it. Uh, you've got your windshield wipers here, so it's a trio of windshield wipers. They work as they should. Brand new blades. You're gonna see a little bit of wear because it's from 1996 and they use it in the movie, so I'm sure they ran through some walls or whatever. Someone painted the bumpers in a satin black and then the truck itself looks like it's olive drab green, not the correct green, but that's probably because it was used for the movie. You do have a spare tire here and then all your hydraulic controls and a storage box. Diesel tank right here. These all come down, so this all folds down so you can use it as a cargo bed as well. Extremely clean example in regards to not having any damage. You've got your storage here for, if you take these slats off, you can slide them inside. Tires are in pretty good shape. Some of the rear ones have about 60%. The fronts have about 70% tread. You look at all the frame rails, everything is solid. Look at how big these leaf springs are, crazy. Then you've got the diffs. You may as well come under here. It's pretty neat to see. How neat is that? So you can, you can lock those two together. This thing will go through anything. The underside is really clean. There's your Allison seven speed transmission. And this is, this is powered by a cat, 290 horsepower cat motor. Let me show you the back too. The wheels and tires were touched in the same satin black for that movie open this up. This is all aluminum, so it's really light. Got your troop carrier here. You could probably fit 20 people back here. Uh, the gross weight this can tow is 21,000 pounds. Really clean example. You can see the uh, sway bar right here and all the air brakes, all the lines look good. You've got the trailer lines as well and your pintle hitch. Let me close this. Driver's side looks great as well. Same tire tread on the rear over here. The front ones have the most. Your exhaust exits right there. And then you do have your air tanks. Batteries are under here. Uh, you've got your air filter and your reservoir. And you can see how nice all the suspension is under here too. Engine looks really good. Let me pull this flap so you can see it. Well, there's, there's a cat motor. Let me go to the other side so you can see the turbo. There you go. There's your turbo and the engine. Let's go ahead and jump in it and start it. I've already pre-started this, so normally if you let it sit, you have to let the air brake pressure go up so you can actually have brakes. Otherwise, the, the locks for the brakes will stay in place. Turn the ignition on. Fire it up. We're in neutral. Seats are comfortable. We've got great oil pressure too. 70 pounds of oil pressure. It's still cold. You got your Allison control box here so you can actually go for your settings and lock the differential if you want, which we'll try out today. You got a turret. Why don't you jump in and we'll go for a ride. Controls are really easy on a Stewart Stevenson. You're gonna have your front air brake and then your rear brake as well. Your oil pressure's right here, your voltage, water temperature, and speedometer, 27,000 miles. You have the ability to turn off your, your, uh, your fan if you're gonna go fording. All your lights are controlled here, so you do that, and you're gonna go to service drive. You've got your hazards here. You've got hand throttle control. And then your controls for the transmission. This will control your trailer, brake, air supply, and then this will be the one that you're gonna use for the truck itself. It does have a, the ability to adjust the pressures on the tires. 
disconnected right now. I'm not gonna hook it up because if you hook it up, sometimes the tires will deflate and they won't go back up. I'm gonna go ahead and take the brake off, put it in drive. You can feel the, the system work. Steering's pretty easy on such a big truck like this. What we'll do is we'll drive down Ravenswood Road and then we'll go to the sand pit. We'll try out the uh, locking dip and you guys can make your decision on if this is the right truck for you. If you want to export this, so say you want to go to a, a different country, we can do that as well. Just have to fill out the correct forms. We do have the export license. This would be great for if you're on the islands and you want to move heavy equipment. Um, just go ahead and get back to the drive. You'll hear the turbo kick in stronger in second. Brakes are really easy. It's hot today in Florida. It's about, uh, I would say, already 95 degrees. All right, in a second, you can hear the turbo build up. specific truck is about 55, 55, 60. So you can cruise on the highway if necessary. Right now we are in seventh gear. You can hear the turbo watch. How cool is that? Going about 40 miles an hour right now with no issues. How cool with the train? Don't forget to like and subscribe because it's going to bring you more content like this. I'm trying to put out a video every week for the inventory that we have, and that's the best part about selling these things is jumping in to go for a ride. We're going to turn right here, so I'm going to turn my indicator on. Just like a regular car, you have that. And then you have your horn here, too. Pretty wimpy horn. Brakes are easy, it's gonna downshift. All right, let's build a boost back up. The turning radius isn't that bad for how big it is. Probably gonna have to go over the sidewalk a little bit. Not too bad. What we'll do is we'll go in the sand and see um, how the traction is with these tires. So this is sugar sand. I'm sure you've seen it in the other videos. This is a heavy truck, so to be able to go through something like this without an issue is pretty impressive. It's an all-time six-wheel drive, by the way. And what you can do, what I like to do, is you can actually manually shift it, so it'll keep it in second. Two hundred ninety horsepower and tons of torque allow this to go through this with no issues at all. Look at the iguana. Bad, right?
thanks for watching. Uh, if you guys have any additional questions about this specific truck, you can look down below in our description. There's a link there. It's going to give you financing terms if you want to finance or if you want to get a transport quote. There's also a button there. Have a great day. If you have anything else you want to ask, 954-363-2261.